was just the start, literally and metaphorically, because the men's 50 free A final at the 2024 Westmont Pro Swim Series was a whole thing. And we're going to get into it right now. Let's set the stage. Men's 50 free A final at the Westmont Pro Swim Series is lining up. Caleb Dressel in lane eight swam a 22-6 in the morning to qualify at eight, just sneaking into the A final. Things proceed as normal. He gets up on the blocks. They say, take your mark, go. You can see what happens. It does look like all the blocks have some give, but you can very clearly see that Caleb Dressel's gives more than the other blocks do and that his wedge actually moves after his foot pushes off of it on the start. So they swim the 50 freestyle. Caleb Dressel pops up a little bit earlier than he normally would off of the start, assumably because the block didn't stay still like it's supposed to, but he still had a great swim. So everyone finishes the race. They touch the wall, they look up at the scoreboard, it's black. I was in the venue, everyone was confused, no one knew what was going on, and there were no results posted on the scoreboard. No one knew what time they went, no one knew who won the race. By all accounts on deck, it looked like Jack Alexi had touched first, but Caleb Dressel was right there with him, as was Santo Condarelli in lane six, Alexi being in lane four. So then we go through this weird period where no one knows what's going on, and the officials, assumably, are trying to figure out what to do. In the meantime, you could see Caleb Dressel here getting out of the pool after having swum the race and saying, hey, my block messed up, to his teammates, the officials, and his coaches, which is totally understandable because you expect blocks to work correctly, especially in a professional swim setting like the Pro Swim Series. Oh, oh look, we got a slow motion. So the scoreboard never actually ended up showing the times because there was a touchpad error, meaning that the touchpads, for whatever reason, glitched and didn't actually end up recording the times. So what happens when that happens? Well, that's why they have timers at the end of every lane. They go to the stopwatch timers as the backup time and use those as the official results. So as we're standing on deck wondering what's happening, after about five minutes, they proceed to announce over the loudspeaker the official times and places, starting with eighth place and going to first, which I'm going to say it was pretty great. You're left in suspense. You don't know who won. It was honestly kind of fun. So we hear over the loudspeaker, Jack Alexi gets third at 21.9. Santo Condarelli gets second at 21.87 and Caleb Dressel gets first at 21.84. Now, if we go back and look at this finish, I think it is pretty plausible to say that Jack Alexi did not finish third in this race. It pretty clearly looks like, to my eyes, that Jack Alexi and Caleb Dressel finish first and second with Santo Condarelli finishing just behind them at third. Now, when it comes down to hundredths of a second, looks can be deceiving. So it is plausible that Dressel finished first, Santo finished second, and Jack Alexi finished third. But from the eye test, that is not what I'm seeing. And again, we know from the past, specifically from the Phelps Kovic Hunter Fly incident of 2008, that it's not always necessarily who touches the touchpad first, but it is who touches the touchpad hard enough to register the touchpad first. But again, they weren't going from touchpad times, they were going from hand time stopwatch times. So even though these are official times and they will count, it's not necessarily what actually happened, it is what happened according to the timers, who of course are human, and therefore there's probably room for a little human error in that. However, it gets even better because in the event that the touchpads malfunction like they did in this 50 free, it is written in the rules that there can be a reswim. 
So there was essentially a time trial of the 50 free and it was available to everyone who swam in the men's A final of that 50 free right after all of the A and B finals concluded and before the C and D finals were swum. Ultimately, five of the eight competitors elected to swim in this re-swim 50 freestyle. So what was on the line here? The times swum in this re-swim were official times. They do count if you win a best time. They do count if you swim a FINA A or B cut, which is relevant for international swimmers using this event to qualify for the Olympics, but they would not change the official results, meaning Caleb Dressel is still gonna get first, Santo Condorelli is still gonna get second, and Jack Alexi is still gonna get third, no matter what times any swimmers do in this re-swim. Notably, Caleb Dressel and Santo Condorelli did not participate in the re-swim. Jack Alexi, however, did, and he swum a 21.86, four one hundredths faster than his 21.9 from the official results, which remember was hand timed, and this 2186 was touch pad. The 2186 would have put him in second ahead of Santo Condorelli, but still behind Caleb Dressel according to the hand time swims. I know this is all a little confusing and trust me, we were confused too. We had no idea what was going on. This kind of got figured out over the course of about an hour or so, but it was pretty crazy that so much went so wrong in a race that lasts less than 30 seconds. We do know one thing for absolutely sure, and that is Caleb Dressel is having a great meet here. He already went 51-2 in the 100 fly, and by hand timing watch, he went 21-8 in the 50 free, which will count as an official result. The fastest he's been in the 50 free in two years. And that is weeks after he just welcomed his first son into the world. Way to go, Daddy Dressel. Thank you for coming on this deep dive of a very bizarre 50 free with me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a like. Comment below and tell me your thoughts on this weird and error heavy race. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.